The MC Mountaineering Club is a non-stop, non-profit organization which has been around for 28 years. Interestingly, it was uh, established by employees of the Ayala Group of Companies on Valentine's Day in 1983. At the time, it was known as the Ayala Mountaineers Club Incorporated. However, and in recognition of the diverse professional backgrounds of its members, the organization's name was changed in 1999 to what it is now known. But of course, for sentimental reasons, uh, sometimes some people still refer to it uh, with its former name. So in the last 28 years, AMSI has been committed to responsible mountain ring. We would like to believe that we have produced over 1,200 responsible mountaineers in all the years that we've been conducting the basic mountaineering course. Guided by our um, principles to ensure safety, uh, promoting camaraderie, and being stewards of the environment, the club has scaled nearly every mountain in the archipelago. Um, in fact, some of our members have gone as far as climbing peaks in Africa, the Himalayas, South America, Australia, China, Malaysia, Indonesia, and many, many other places where there are mountains and where there are trails. What, uh, what sets AMSI apart from all other clubs is that it is an organization of professionals. None of us really, you know, none of us does mountaineering as our primary line of work. It is more of our avocation. It is a shared passion to pursue that which is difficult. In our belief that anything that requires great effort brings with it, with it even greater rewards. Also, um, the view from up there is simply better. Um, so the club has activities all throughout the year. We conduct open climbs. And because there are so many members, you can expect at least one climb every month. We also have a community outreach arm where we try to give back to the communities that are impacted by our climbs. Um, quite recently, we just had a very fun and successful summer camp for children between the ages of 6 and, and 16. So every year, AMC conducts the basic mountaineering course. Uh, this is an opportunity for people who share our thirst for adventure and the great outdoors to finally come out of the usual comfortable spaces that they occupy and join us in, in finding ourselves and finding ourselves by getting lost in the wilderness. Hi, I'm basic mountaineering person ng AMC. Uh, for my training program yun, na may tatlong components. Um, academic, physical, saka mountain trekking. Sa academics, may lectures and seminars. Yung turo, sinishare namin mga best practices in mountaineering. No, meron siya kagaya ng tent pitching, backpack loading, new planning, so operation, land nav, compass reading, high altitude climbing, meron din basic life support and basic first aid. Tapos, uh, meron din kami rappelling, Nalaki ako! Full climbing, Climbing, tapos ang purpose nito is to equip trainees with practical skills and knowledge that will be useful in their expeditions in the outdoors. Physical, meron kaming running, meron din kaming ramps or stair climbing. No? Sa running kasi dito, i-build ka ng stamina and endurance. Tapos while doon naman sa, ano, sa stair climbing, at the best simulation sa actual climbing. Sa mountain trekking naman, meron tayong four training climbs na may specific purpose bawat climb. Training climb number one is nature appreciation. Training climb number two um, is technical climb. Dito, gumagamit na ng ropes, magre-raging na kayo, uh, tatawid na kayo ng river, mga ganun. Pero, kaya naman. Panis. Training climb number three. Um, ito, it's a multi-day climb. It's only three days, and two nights, and it's a high altitude climb. Ito, yung climb na to, manito. Tsaka, 
dito uh, since DD siya medyo mas medyo mas marami yung dadalhin mo compared dun sa first two climbs nyo no? so Training climb number four. Uh, training, training climb number four is a makeup climb. Usually, um, parehas lang siya ng TC3 ng training climb number three. It's a multi-day climb then na uh, uh, pwede rin high alti. Pwede may kasamang technical climbing. Training ng AMC, usually, ano yan, twice a week lang. Every Wednesday, 7 p.m. sa Valero Car Park. Usually dito, um, physical exercise lang ginagawa. Warm up, running, climbing, cool down. So, para maagi rin tayo makauwi. And then, yung, yung Sunday naman sa University of Makati or pwede rin sa ibang venues like The Fort, sa Makati Park and Garden. At around 6 a.m. we start. So usually, physical exercises yun. Pag morning, and then pagdating ng afternoon, and then lectures, and dyan din kayo na how like lectures, exam, practical, skill building. Yung BMC training is available naman kahit kanino. No? Pero meron siya mga prerequisite para maging member. Para mag-qualify kayo for induction, may mga, may mga requirements kami hinihimit. Uh, kagaya ng dapat yung mga absences nyo, hindi mag-exceed ng 20% ng total training dates. Number two, uh, at least makapag-participate kayo ng tatlo sa apat ng mga training climbs na sinabi ko kanina. Pero, I strongly suggest na samahan nyo na yung unang tatlong climbs para hindi na rin kayong mahasil. Number three, number three, dapat at least maka, makakuha kayo ng passing average sa exams na nagministered during the training. Number four, dapat mag-comply kayo with the merits in the merit system. Ang merits, makuha mo yung pag meron kong nagawa. At ang demerits, uh, syempre, kung may mga nag-violate yung rules, syempre, yan, higyan ka ng demerits. Finally, uh, meron tayong 15 km run na kailangan to present in 2 hours le or less. Uh, madali lang yan, kaya nyo yan. Kaya nga tayo nag-training para tapos natin yan. Lahat naman, halos nakaka-tapos yan. Um, the training fee for this year's BMC is 4,200. However, meron kami early bird discount for the first 30 trainees na magbabayad ng full amount. Yung BMC training shirt nyo, lecture shirt, the BMC manual, yung bayad na sa venue, sa mga trainers nyo, sama na dyan yung dog tag nyo pag nakatapos kayo. Nasa nyo na yun. Ang mga hindi kasama dito sa 4,200 na training fee nyo is yung Red Cross, yung expenses sa uh, actual climbs, yung at equipment. Go, Auntie! Go, Lele! I think when one joins AMC, primarily their outlook changes. Um, there's a difference between looking at the mountains and seeing the efforts that uh, the people do as compared to you being in that situation. So you get to learn not just um, more about the surroundings, but more about yourself also. You face your fears. And this can be related to a lot of things in life, not just in the, in the sports aspect of your life, but even in work, in the family. AMC would really change your life. Um, not just that, not just in the not just in the area of mountaineering in your personal life, but it's going to change your views also. There are different aspects that that um, AMC brings changes to me. Number one, in terms of physical, of course, 
you find yourself stronger. So, so you'll you'll be you'll be amazed at the strength that um, that you have after four training times. Right? You get to meet a lot of people whom you can regard as friends. But um, with Amsi, you get to be you get to meet people who can be your friends for life. Why is that? Be stuck in the mountain for five days with certain people stripped of material things. So you get to know who they really are, their inner self. Um, you tend to trust with your life because they know who you are and you, you know who they are. And who else would you trust, right? Then people who are with you in the mountain, who are experiencing the same things that you're facing, right? So, um, these are the people that for me, I think, um, are friendships for keeps. This year's, this year's BMC's slogan is taking a tire and um, literally um, joining the BMC will really take you higher in terms of your endurance, your strength, and, and the places that you go, you go really far off and you'll never expect to get to those areas. So um, in the truest sense, you will be higher. Physically, BMC will take you higher. A lot of people can testify that after joining AMC, their life has changed. Four months of vigorous training in BMC makes you realize the things that you're really capable of that you never thought that you can handle in the first place back when you started. The training experience has made a lot of people discover their potentials um, and somehow you long for more. It is for this reason that a lot of people get into a whole lot of sports and a whole lot of other activities after the BMC. Um, specifics to that would be mountain biking, scuba diving, triathlons, running, swimming, and a whole lot of different extra ordinary activities. If it weren't for the BMC, they wouldn't be introduced to these extreme sports outside mountaineering. Rock and roll!